What's going on there, guys? We back with another one. And today we have to talk about Stephen A. Smith some more and his ongoing contract negotiations with ESPN. As you all know, you've seen Stephen A. Smith on many platforms doing interviews talking about knowing his worth and how the two sides are kind of going back and forth on numbers. And, you know, Stephen A. Smith said he don't want what happened to him many years ago where they let him go to happen again without a backup plan and also he wants to get top dollar and make sure that they know what he's worth but now uh the co-workers have a new nickname for stephen a smith according to the u.s sun and they're saying you know that stephen a smith is being selfish throughout these negotiations now we're gonna get into this article a little bit it says that people journalist that is that's working on the show more specifically is calling Stephen A. Smith Mr. Greed and they mocking his desire to earn 25 million from the company you know 25 million annually that is it says the situation about Stephen A. Smith bringing tons of attention to his salary requests and the fact that he wants to be the most paid guy on TV and acts for 25 million per year as a lot of tension to the team to the journalists who aren't on his small circle king's court and on the crew as it will literally explode the budget of the show a journalist on the show told the u.s sun him going to do interview and public appearances in tons of places and events so often speaking about himself and his request so often is seen as him campaigning for himself the stephen a smith circus on tour as we call it now between us as it is getting pretty ridiculous and a lot of people are very mad at him and pissed a lot of us are scared that those requests will push espn to cut costs in order to give him his money and that many of us and people from the crew will get fired get rid of when the decision will be made sun source also felt that if smith earned a larger contract that might eat further into the show's budget, putting jobs at stake. We aren't talking only about Stephen A. Smith's request for a salary. We also talk about how it will have also consequences on his close circle of guys on the show. The ones that aren't in his circle are feeling pushed away and they are stressed out, very stressed out about the next few weeks and months. Many of the people are scared to be kicked out of their job because of Mr. Greedy's enormous appetite for money and power and to be the center of attention and exclusive decision maker on anything this is what another source said it says i mean every time he does an interview or a public appearance or even just open his mouth it's me 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 and money 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 all the time a member of the production team told the U.S. Sun every single day on our group chat on WhatsApp, we have always tons of quotes and stuff about Stephen A. Smith. It's very frustrating. This is getting out of control. He is in a massive public relation campaign to the show, to the world, that he is the best, the top guy on TV and sports industry. And it's getting really pathetic, to be honest with you. And that same source continued, it says, uh, many of us are fed up of this constant Stephen A. Smith show, but we can't say anything because we are scared that his request will be reached and that could cost us our jobs as the money that he asks is massive. It's insanity in my opinion, the source continued. The negotiations are taking forever, but until a decision is made and the new contract is signed, our situation is very unpredictable as many of us are scared that they will have to cut costs on one side the crew the workers to give him his money it's adding a lot to an already very very tense situation and there is no tranquility no serenity at work at the moment with everything is going on his request add more to it that is for sure so guys all the people on the show at first take are very worried about you know their income and their status with the company a lot of these people we see and them being on the network is contingent upon their first take appearances it keeps their name out there and even if they have a show on, off to the side first take is that driving force that really keeps their name and the lights in the forefront and they're saying Stephen A. Smith 
25 million is going to break down the budget of the show and also their earnings, right? So when they go in for contract negotiations, if they're looking to get like, you know, 1.5 or 2 million, you know, on a contract, they're not going to be able to get that because all of the resources and the budget for the show is going to be dumped into Stephen A. Smith. And from Stephen A. Smith's standpoint, it's like, I'm in position now. You fired me when I needed the money. Now I'm going to bleed you dry. Not really dry, but you know what I'm saying. I'm going to take the show's budget and you're going to pay me everything because when you were struggling for programming, you didn't have Pat McAfee and all those guys. You relied on me making appearances on everybody else's show to try to get it popping or to, you know, just lend my celebrity and the viewers that I can command by myself to your show. And I've been doing it for years. And so if you want me to go into another contract and then add all these other responsibilities on me, I need to, you know, in, in four years, I need to be able to see a hundred million dollars, you know, so that's what Stephen A. Smith's request is. And, um, you know, I see it both ways, I guess. You know, for Stephen A. Smith, that's not his problem, what they do with the budget of the show. Um, but to the workers, and I'm, I was wondering why we weren't seeing like Monica McNutt and them as much lately. But some people are probably planning, you know, they next move outside of there. I know Monica works for MSG. She got a lot of jobs that she does covering the WNBA. So she may be straight. It's others, though, that may not have as much motion as like a Monica McNutt. Uh, Ryan Clark, he got, you know, he got the pivot. He got, you know, he's on get up all the time. So it won't really affect him so much either. Um, but yeah, if I'm like McCordy and all of them, you know, they just came over. I'm looking like what in the world, you know. Um, I wonder if they grooming somebody else to take over first take. I, I guess the only issue with that would be is first take going to really work without Stephen A. Smith? I know you get on people's nerves and all that, but if you used to a certain formula and Stephen A. Smith has been that formula for so long, remember that was like a thing after Skip left. Like, is this going to continue to work? But they still had at least one half of what started first take, you know, as we know it. You know what I'm saying? Not cold pizza, but first take as we knew it. Um, they still had one half of that. And Stephen A. Smith was the bigger personality by that point. Um, but if you take Stephen A. Smith off, then, you know, his first take still a viable show. Now, ESPN can make a new show that's really good. Um, but first take itself, you know, just all those viewers. And when you go to the advertisers, see, Stephen A. Smith is thinking about everything. When you go to the advertisers, they're, gonna want to know how many episodes Stephen A. Smith is gonna be on a year and I think you know Stephen A. taking those days off has allowed them to kind of see um, some of this stuff I don't know how long their TV deals and stuff are but I do know Stephen A. Smith is a major factor you know in the program and love him or hate him the eyeballs have been good for a long time and they added Shannon Sharp and Stephen A. Smith kind of made that deal happen too you know really went to bat for him behind the scenes and they agree with Shannon Sharp my only thing is why haven't we heard the details of Shannon Sharp's deal is it like a handshake agreement but he ain't signed nothing um is he waiting to see what happens with Stephen A. Smith and I know like people around there have been talking about Shannon too so if you look at the resources that's going to be dumped into Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp over the next few years, you know, the format may have to change. You know, you may have to go to like a two-man show where you invite guests on. I, I don't know what they're going to do, but yeah, man, the co-workers is really not feeling it. Um, yeah, they're going to have to figure out some other things. But you could also say Stephen A. Smith brought in a lot of the journalists on the show to give them that opportunity as well. And maybe he feel like he's doing some of ESPN job for him. You know, going out and finding the talent. Like, not only that, like, I'm finding the talent to bring to the show to make it work. Like, everybody that we're putting in is working seamlessly. 
And you can't underrate that fact on national television if people can coexist with other personalities in journalism. So for the most part, Stephen A. Smith got a claim. You look at Joe Buck, you look at Troy Aikman and, and Pat McAfee and all of them. I understand Stephen A. Smith's position and wanting to be the highest paid. Like, he's probably trying to get some back pay, too. And I don't, I don't blame him. You start high and you work your way, you know, to, to a legit spot. But if Stephen A. Smith, this is what I'll say to him. If he settles for one penny less than what he's asking for, then he needs to make sure he's only doing first take. You know, you don't use me nowhere else. Either you, and, and you know, I'm going to need a raise. I'm going to need at least 20. But if you can't meet my requirements and all my demands, then I only want to do first take at this point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Peace.